You read that right. I hired an illustrator off of Fiverr. If you've been following the series at all, you know that I've been on a search for an illustrator for my new children's picture book. But it's not just any picture book. It's a picture book I'm doing for my granddaughter. So I am not in any way, shape or form going to settle. Now, if you missed the rest of the series, I'll include a link to the playlist up here and you can go and check that out later. I picked four or five different illustrators. I had them do a sample image for me and I had you go and vote for which one was your favorite. So today I'm going to share with you the information that I gave them, the guidance that I gave them, the experience, and then of course the final product. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I reached out to them. I went to their contact me page and I told them what I was looking for, how many pages it was going to be, what the main characters were, and more importantly, I told them what my timeline was just to get a guide as to what their pricing would be and whether or not they could meet that timeline. Luckily, he was able to meet the timeline and the price was within my budget. So at that point, everything was looking good. So the next thing I did is I gave them all the specs for the book. Now here's one thing that a lot of people don't know. They want to know what kind of information to give them. I wanted to give them some flexibility, allowing him to use his own creativity, but you, they really majority of the time will want some kind of guidance and you want that too, because you want to make sure that neither one of you are wasting your time. And then they give the first draft of the illustrations and it's nothing that you were looking for. That's a waste of both of your time and your money. So what I did was I gave him obviously the text for the book and then each text that I wanted on a page, I gave him a general scene that I was looking for. Now you can be as specific or as general as you want, but understand that if you're general, you can't really get too upset if the illustration isn't what you're looking for. So if you're going to be picky with, with what the end product is going to be, then you need to be as specific when it comes to the scenes as possible. And the scenes meaning not just the background, but what characters are going to be in there. What are the characters going to be doing? And I just included all of that in a simple word document. Again, I had the stanzas for the words that were going to be on that page. And then the scene, the characters, what the characters are going to be doing, things like that. The way this particular seller broke the job up was they broke it up into two different parts. They did the first half, the first 14 pages in one gig and the second half in the second gig, obviously with the prices being split. The timeline that he gave was 16 days per half, which was well within my timeline that I was looking for. So that was a huge thumbs up. So how did things go? Well, I'll be honest, there were some ups and downs. Uh, the illustrations he did were amazing. Chances are it's possible that you may run into some issues. The first issue that came up was completely on my side. The instructions that I gave weren't clear on what I wanted on two particular pages. In fact, I didn't even say that I wanted them on two pages. Um, and so what ended up happening is he made one page with both these stanzas in it. So once I messaged him back and I told him that I actually had to be split up, it was fine. He was super, super responsive. Many of the changes that I had him make uh, were very minor. And that's one thing you want to keep in mind is when you're working with a seller, pay attention to the number of revisions you're allowed to have. Because if you're only allowed to have one or two revisions, you want to make sure that you condense them all at once. So you get the most for the value. Once I told him that I needed them split up, he went, made those changes, took him a couple more days and came back, looked great. So that was the first batch. Then the second batch came and I wanted to make sure that my book was as consistent as possible. So not only did I have him do the illustrations, but I also had him do the title page and the copyright page and the dedication page. Other tweaks I had made were, you know, some, some were some typos in my writing and I had him make those. He, all the changes that I had him make were super, super fast on his end. Like things that I thought were going to take a while he had done in a matter of an hour. It really blew my mind. Uh, not just the fact that he had it done so quickly, but the fact that he was available. I mean, he was in a different part of the world. So I really was expecting a huge time delay between when I put a request in and when I ended up getting the results. And that wasn't the case. He was so responsive. It really blew my mind. One thing that I also gave him in my particular case, because this book is more sentimental, it's, it's more for my family is I included images of the different people that I wanted in the book. 
And I made it very clear to him that these are just for inspiration. They didn't have to be identical. And if you watched the previous video where I had everybody do samples, I did the same thing. This one just had more characters in it. So that's how everything went. Uh, again, he was super responsive. He met all of his timelines, no issues at all when it came to that. It's amazing what you can get on Fiverr. So many people think that, you know, Fiverr is just $5 gigs and you, you don't get a lot of value. I had an amazing experience. Even the ones that I didn't go with, you know, uh, based on your votes and, you know, they were still amazing. It was a very difficult decision to make. So I'm going to include links to all of them down in the description below. But of course, I'm also going to give you a link to this particular artist in case you decide that you want to use him as well. I'm telling you, he, he did an amazing job. So enough of that yammering. Let me show you what the end result was. But before I do, if you're new around here, my name is Keith Wheeler. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash your little bell icon so you get alerted every time I put out a video just like this one. So enough of that. Let's flip over and I'll show you what the end results were of the illustrations that I got done on Fiverr. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I wanted to show you the actual document that I sent to the illustrator for guidance on the illustrations. As you can see, it's just a Word document. I've got the title up here. Here's a list of the characters with a little bit of description, very minimal as you can see. Uh, some of these were from the previous project, which is where I actually mentioned it here when I had them do the sample page. But like right here for dad is wearing a hat. Mimi is wearing a green t-shirt and jeans. Very slight descriptions. Now the descriptions that you do are completely up to you depending on how vivid you see these characters in your mind as well as how specific you want them to be in the illustration if you want to give more direction to your illustrator that's completely fine most illustrators are open to suggestions they they want guidance because they want to make sure that they're giving you the product that you want because at the end of the day they want you to be happy but also they don't want to waste their time and they know that if they do something and you're not happy with it, they're just going to have to redo it. So they enjoy guidance. Typically, if you get an illustrator that does not want any kind of guidance, my suggestion, find a different illustrator, but I have not had that problem with any of the illustrators that I worked with in this particular project. So then again, I just told them about the different pages, the title page, copyright dedication, and a blank page. Again, making it clear, even though I didn't give them the specs for them yet, I did make it clear that they were going to be included in the illustrations that I needed done just so they knew exactly what was needed. And then this just goes into the actual book itself. Now here's where that issue was uh, that I talked about previously. You see right here, where I talk about a scene, but here I don't, they thought that that meant that both of these lines were going to be on the same page when in actuality they weren't. So that was just a mistake on my part, went back explained it to them and uh, and they, they fixed it, like I said, within a matter of a couple days. So worked out really well, but again, that was a mistake on my part. But other than that, you know, you can see I've got stanzas and then above that I show just a general idea of what I want the scene to look like. Again, if you have specifics, if you want it to be more specific than what I have, completely up to you. Okay, so I'm just gonna scroll through here real quickly and then I give a little description of what the final page is going to look like. And that's really all I gave them. That's all I gave them to go by when they did the second round. The second part is when they ended up doing the title page and the copyright and dedication. I did another word document where I gave them what I want included. I'm not going to bore you with that because it's just a title page, a copyright page and a dedication page. So let's get to what you're really here for. And you want to see what these illustrations ended up looking like. So let's get to it. Now they gave me the illustrations in JPEG form, as well as the actual source file, if I wanted to use that. Now that was part of the gig that I signed up for. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to what you're actually going to get. You know, you may not need those source files. I particularly always like them because if I need to go back later on and make adjustments or whatever, 
maybe this illustrator won't be available. So I wanna make sure I have those so I can give it to the next illustrator. Like I said, he gave them to me in JPEGs. So obviously I had to take all those JPEGs and put them together into the book, which I just used, as I've shown in many of my videos, I just used PowerPoint. So here we are. This is the title page. I really love the font choice that he made. Also, you wanna make sure that you ask them what font they used. So again, that way if later on down the road, you need to make any tweaks, you know what font it is. Copyright page, dedication page. And there we go. Here's the first illustration. One of the changes I had to make was the color of the hair. He had a dark hair, which I wasn't specific in the guidance I gave him. So I can't blame him for that, but I did ask for him to make her have blonde hair and he did. You can see it a little bit back here. If you think back to the direction that I did give them the instructions, uh, he followed them to a T. Uh, green shirt, blue jeans, long blonde hair, wearing a hat, slightly gray hair. Let me zoom in just so we can see um, a little bit more. All right. I mean, everything, I'm gonna zoom in even more. Let's do actual size, there we go. And this book, in case you're curious, is eight and a half by eight and a half. And you wanna pause this and, and read the text, that's fine. But again, I'm super excited with how everything turned out. He did such a great job of bringing my vision to life. Uh, you know, I've, I've worked with quite a few illustrators over the years, and I was very pleasantly surprised with how this turned out. And if you have any questions or anything, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you think of this particular book, if you, what you think of the illustrations, what you think of this illustrator and I would love to to hear your opinions um, make sure we keep it all respectful but yeah I mean every single image like I said came out better than I expected there were some tweaks that I made again some were, were some typos on my end some were some tweaks to images um, here's one example I'll scroll up real quick um, the I had to make some tweaks to this particular page and literally he made the changes within I think it was like an hour it was crazy um, so yeah just really really pleased and not only that but even after I approved the gig I found another change that I wanted to make and he actually went back and made that change for me. Most people would think that, you know, oh, he's done with it. He's going to try to charge me for it. He didn't. He made the change. Absolutely no arguments. And he did it in a very timely manner. You know, he didn't put me at the bottom of his to-do list or anything like that. He really took care of me. And I am super appreciative of it. And then this is the final page, which is just a little bit about, like, the story behind the story. And, uh... These are the, the two main characters in this in the story. So um, I, I'd love to hear your comments on what you thought about it. But I think it turned out really, really well. Um, like I said, I, I would have been pleased with any of the illustrators that I found on Fiverr. And I'll have a link to them down in the description below in case you want to check out them. This total project cost for this illustrator was $950. It was $40 for the sample page. It was $455 for each of the two part gigs, which again was within my budget and I was happy to pay. Now, if that's what outside your budget, that's fine. That's one of the reasons why I did this series is I wanted to show you illustrators from all different price ranges. So if this is a little bit pricey for you, I completely understand. You can check out one of the other illustrators that I looked into and see the illustrations that they did 
Um, obviously, they didn't do the whole book, but I did have them all do a sample page and I had them all do the same exact sample page. So that way you can see, you know, the quality that you get. I was extremely pleased with everyone that I had gotten. Now, how amazing were those illustrations? I mean, really, I, I was blown away by what he ended up being able to do in such a short time frame. I mean, like I said, each one was 17 days. So in a matter of 35 days, so a little over a month, he was able to get all of that done. Just amazing, amazing job. So if, again, if you want to link to him or any of the other illustrators that I used in this series, you can check out the description below and you'll have a list to each and every one of them. And I honestly was, would be pleased with any of them to have done the illustrations, but I'm super excited on how this one turned out. So maybe you've already done your book and you're looking for other ways to expand your brand. Have you thought about turning your book into a t-shirt? Sounds crazy, right? Well, check out this video right here that my buddy Kevin McGuire did for us, where he took a book cover from one of his no content books and actually turned it into a t-shirt. Or you can check out this video that YouTube picked out just for you. I'll catch you in the next video and remember to write right.